What's going on guys? So today we've got a very exciting video for you. We are fitting our roof rack and our roof tracks to our long wheelbase sprinter. We are super excited about this part of the build because as you know, we want to create a vehicle that can pretty much go wherever we want and we can carry everything we need to live happily in our van. So this came in the post yesterday and this is our front runner roof rack and universal roof tracks. So what it is, is these roof tracks go into the factory fitted holes on top of our sprinter and then we can attach the roof rack to them so that we can dismount it at any point. So if you don't know about Front Runner, they make incredible roof racks and accessories for overland vehicles. You know, for any adventure, they've probably got what you need. So go and check them out. Thank you so much to Front Runner for hooking us up with this rack. It looks so well made and it's actually really lightweight, which I'm excited about because we're trying to keep our weight down as much as possible. So these are the tracks that get fixed to the roof of the van and normally you put them on first and then the roof rack but because we're so excited to get our roof rack we're actually going to build that first because we just can't wait to see what it looks like. So guys if you're wondering why I'm so hot and sweaty that is because I spent a few hours just thoroughly cleaning the roof of the van. It looked like it had never been cleaned. So I've done that and it's a nice blank canvas for the tracks and the roof rack to go on. So B's just looking through the instructions for the roof rack. Yeah, it all looks pretty simple. They've outlined it really nicely, so it shouldn't be too difficult. And it does actually say on the front that it only takes 30 minutes. So I want to see if we can do it in under that. Challenge ourselves and see if we can do it in less than 30 minutes. Are you ready? So the rack is now starting to take shape. It is now time to put the standard slats all along here and then we put the end on. So Theo's just grabbing them now and they should just slide on nicely. So there's a little bit of a technique putting the slats in but once we've done a couple the rest just slid right in. And in fact we'll show you how to do the second half of the slat installation now. So we have 12 standard slats which we are installing in like a staggered pattern. <laughs> and you know it's serious when I've got the knee pads on. Oh yes, it's got the uh, extreme working knee pads I'm on. In business. So this is a standard slat right here. It's got the bolts already in. And you just flip this over Put and slide in up, it in. Upside down so obviously when you flip it the other way they're all in the right place. Yeah so right here you can see this is all upside down. So what we need to do is we're going to bring this standard slat in and it's going to come in right across here. So the thing that I'm really liking about front runner gear is everything comes in these packets so you've got everything you need. It's got the name of the person who packed it and a nice little message on there as well which is really useful. And also on some of the boxes where there might be like a hidden package inside that you might miss, they put this on there which is really useful just to make sure you don't lose anything. So once it's nicely lined up you then put the bolt straight through the hole into the connecting nut and tighten it up. Now this one's the last one. So we've got a special piece that goes on the end here called a combined slat. It's different to these in that it's got a nice frontage to it. And here it is. It's a very similar process to putting on the standard slats in that it also slots on nice and neatly onto the front. Let's put that down and show you the one we already put on. So this is it at the other end. It's basically symmetrical. So this is one we made earlier. And as you can see, you might have noticed with your eagle eyes that the front runner symbol is actually upside down. That's because you build the rack upside down. So this is going to be flipped once it's all done. And if you guys are wondering what this is called, this is called the Front Runner Slimline 2. And this is the main tray that we've got. And now we're going to fit 
some lovely rails all the way around it. So the next stage of our rack assembly is to put in the tube railing and basically we've got these three little feet that slide in so that's different to the rest. They slide in around the edge and let a tube connect in and then we've got a little, uh, little railing all the way around the edge so I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. So here we have a little joiner. There's basically a couple of these that go around the edge and they get locked in place once they go through here. We put the bolt through and the nut on the bottom so it'll be nice and secure and you just basically slide it on and then you can attach the tubing around the edge and you've got a rail all the way around your rack. So we'll show you how that works now and uh, slide these bad boys on. Also, I, may, I showed these ones that are slightly different and that's because they go to the end here where the two pieces join so the tubing finishes, slots down and then goes up again. So, one of the things you have to do with this particular model, because it's a big one, is cut down these side rails a little bit. Dead simple to do, all you need is a hacksaw. I'm clamping this to my bench, well, my two <laughs> stands, and it works perfectly. So just clamp that in there. We marked it off with silver pen, so it's very easy to see. So this middle piece now means that the other sections can all be connected. Okay guys, so here is the finished rack and I just love the edging. It just really brings it together and it's just an absolute beast, isn't it? We're going to be having solar panel on here. That's the main thing that we want on this rack is solar. We haven't decided the size yet, but we've definitely got more than enough room to put solar on here and a few other knickknacks. And in fact, talking of knickknacks, we've got a few exciting accessories to add on to here. So we'll show you that later. Okay, so welcome to part two of the roof rack installation and it involves these little jobbies. Has anyone got an idea what this is? Let me see if it'll focus. These have been taken off the van. Yes, we've made lots of holes in our van, let me show you. Say hello to my little friends. There's 10 of them in total that we've removed and I'll show you them before they're removed. These little caps basically cover up the holes that are pre-made in the van if you ever want to put a roof rack in. So basically all we've had to do to let this happen <laughs> was get a heat gun, heat this up and then from the inside bash this bit with a hammer and it just literally pops out. And that's it. It's absolutely the easiest thing ever. Didn't have to drill any holes in the actual van, which is fab. So the next thing is to just take them out on that side and we're going to show you that. So that is the little piece that we've just removed with the help of a heat gun and a hammer. And now Theo's just gonna remove the excess glue. So it's super early in the morning and we are just about to jump on the motorway to Leicester to the Snail Vans workshop and them guys are going to help us finish installing our roof rack which we're super excited about. They are the guys who fitted our roof vent and the attention to detail they have is second to none so we're super stoked about that. We know the roof rack is going to look incredible and we can't wait to see what it looks like. We arrived at Snail Vans and the first thing to do was to check we had all of the components needed to fit the rack. Holes were drilled in the universal tracks and then countersunk. The rubber seal for the universal tracks were then attached. The next step was to connect all of the feet to the roof rack as well as the wind deflector. After everything on the roof rack was in place, the universal tracks were lifted onto the roof and aligned with the holes. 
Sealant was added to the bolts and everything was tightened up. The van was then driven outside for a water test. We made sure that there was no leaks inside the van. Shortly after we lifted the roof rack in two sections to make it easier and connected all of the feet to the universal track. So the roof rack is now completely fitted. We're super stoked with how it looks. It looks amazing. It's been turning heads already on the way back from Snail Van's workshop. Everyone's just like, whoa. Like, so that's exactly what we wanted. It is an amazing roof rack. And now we get to fit the accessories. I've fitted some of them and I'll talk you through them in a second. But now we get to put the ax on the side of the roof rack. Also, a lot of you guys have been asking how we're gonna get to the roof rack and get to all them accessories. And Front Runner have given us this super cool extendable ladder, which is really good. It's so easy to use. I'm not sure how easy it is to do one-handed. If I put my foot on there and it literally just lifts up like that. And the reason for going for an extendable ladder over a fixed ladder is we're gonna have some quite important things on the roof that we don't want people just climbing up the ladder and getting access to. We've got a jerry can up there full of fuel for our generator. We don't want people trying to access that or just generally climbing up there. So the ax fits onto the side of the roof rack really easily. It was really important for us that if we're gonna have an ax on the side of the roof rack that you can actually remove it and put it back very easily. Because there's a lot of times where I just need to get the ax off, chop a little bit of wood for a campfire or something, then pop the ax back. So it's literally on rollers. So that just slides into there like that. And then there's a hole. And then in my pocket, I've got the fastener. You literally just screw that on. Super simple. Screw it on so it's nice and tight. And this thing won't go anywhere. It doesn't make a noise, it doesn't rattle. Also super important for us. We don't want to be driving along and there's lots of little rattles and stuff like that. But yeah, that is not going anywhere. So on the front of the roof rack, we've got the recovery shovel. And then over this side, we've got the ax that we just mounted onto the roof. And don't worry guys, I know a lot of questions we're gonna get is about how do you lock it in place? Well, it's got some very handy holes on the side of here. So you can put a padlock in place and no one is going to be able to steal your ax. And that's with a lot of front runner accessories. You can also, attach a lock to both of these accessories so no one can get access whatsoever. This is a 20 litre petrol uh, jerry can. That's gonna be for our generator that we use, but we are having solar on the rest of the rack. So we probably won't need to use a generator. So if we're not using the generator, I will swap this out for a front runner water jerry can and then we can store extra water on the roof, which is really useful. And then over on the back right hand side of the rack, we have a nice box so that we can store stuff like extra firewood and bits and bobs like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video about the Front Runner Slimline 2 roof rack and the accessories that we chose to mount to it. There are loads more accessories and we will be adding some more to the roof rack in the future. If you'd like to find out any information about Front Runner and where you can buy their products from, then there will be a link in the description. So click that and you can go and check out their whole range of products. But yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Head over to theindieproducts.com forward slash shop and check out our new merchandise. Join us on Patreon for exclusive content and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.